back Transformer fans, you're with Optirodimus and another video review and today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Laserback. He is the first Predacon to be released in this new series, Predaking as the second one and there he is, Laserback. Another really cool figure they've come out with. Totally new. Nice design, nice colors. Really good paint apps. Did a really nice job. But first and foremost, we'll take a look at his packaging. Now as you can see, the uh, outer plastic part here is wider because he is a... I guess you could say a wider figure, but here it is. See Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. There is Predaking. He includes his Toxic Strike Blaster. But you see Laserback Predacon, and I guess this, this is the new Predacon symbol. On the side, you see his tech specs. Flux Class Series 2. On the back, Transformers Prime. There he is. In his beast mode, robot mode, in his one sentence bio, it says, Chaotic Predacon Rebel, whose only goal is to scour Earth clean of the Autobots. Here, take a look here. There's a nice colored version of the symbol. It's orange. Pretty sharp. That's it for the packaging. And here we go. Back with the figure. You see, he's a really cool, nice looking beast face there. His head doesn't really have any side to side movement, but he does kind of move it up and down like this. The mouth does open, and he does have some teeth in there. He's got like a couple of fangs right here on the top, and the bottom row is just a mouthful of teeth. So it's like, you know, you can make him talk in beast mode if you want to. Hello! But this figure, like I said, he has VHS, visible hand syndrome. But it's not that bad, really. This has got these nice big purple claws. He just looks really, really good. A very nice looking Predacon. I said, I am waiting for Predaking. Now, I'm one of those kind of guys, I'm not going to go, you know, and order overseas to get these figures in. I'm not going to pay big, high dollar prices and extra dollars for shipping to, to get these guys first, you know. I don't care if I don't get them first. It's not that big of a deal, you know. I'll get them when they get here. I'm patient. I can wait. All those are other people that can't, so, you know, they just pay out that extra money just so they can get them first. Oh, well. That's not me, but anyway, here he is. Like I said, he doesn't really have a whole lot of movement. In beast mode, his leg does move back and forth. You know, he does bend here, his little knee joint here. He does bend here and up here. So he does have some pretty decent movement in beast mode. Like I said, you know, he is a beast, so, you know, beasts don't really have a lot of boom, but let's see, you can move his feet here, and the back ones, too. You can move like that. So, really, it's, it's not bad. It's really a good figure, and as he's got spikes here on his back, right here along his tail. He's got this kind of axe-shaped looking spiky tail. Really cool. One of those kind of things he can fight with in beast mode. And here's his little launcher. I think, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. But anyway, that's his little double-headed missile here. Just load that back in there. But as I said, this raises up, so I'm thinking maybe that's why he got his name Laser Back because it comes out of his back. But yeah, that raises up just like that. You know. You can fire it. 
just so, so I don't lose the missile. I want to show you like this. Yeah, this one fires really good too. So they really made some really good weapons with these new figures. I think it's really awesome. They work really, really well. But anyway, that's Laser back in his beast mode. And now we will go to his robot mode. First of all, you detach this. Set it to the side. Take the end of his tail here. Just pull that off. Set that to the side. We're just going to bring his legs down like this. And down here, just that'll tap into place. It should anyway. Same over here, bring this leg down. That will tab in. Raise the latter part of his tail up here. And this part here, see this little tab, it does tab into the side. You want to tab those together. Just like that. And we're going to take these. Pop that out. Just fold the beast foot underneath his forearm there. And it looks like just turn his arm this way. I said that will just kind of stick out there, but that's how he's supposed to go. I'll just do the same with this one. Pop it out. Tap that in there. Turn that. Then we're going to pull these down. That way we can first off we need to get the head out. Also, and tab this little feathery looking part here. There's the head. Now you're just going to kind of set this one down into his chest cavity here and then close these up around it. Just like that. These just bring those down. Like so. Just stand him up. And basically there you have laser back in his robot mode. Now some people have complained a little bit, saying that their or that his joints was kind of loose down here, so he would they said he was kind of hard to stand up, so he was kind of just flop forward and you know, fall on his face. But there, that goes all the way up. But he said, I heard a couple guys say that his uh, joints here were really loose, so he kind of would flop forward. You had to kind of be careful and set him just right for him to stand up. But mine are actually nice and tight. I really don't have a problem with mine flopping forward. Or falling or anything, he stands really, really good. So, I guess I got a a good figure from the store. I had my choice of two, and I guess I picked a good one here because I really have no problems with him standing. I have no issues with that at all. He has really nice, tight joints. A really good figure. No problems with him at all. And like I say, he's got the little hole back here, so. If you want to store this up here, you know, you can do so. Or right here. Whoops. I did that again. And I don't know where it went. Oh, no, I lost the missile. Yeah, I lost it. I have a mess here. I haven't got it all cleaned up yet. 
It's here somewhere. I just lost it. I don't know where it went. Oh boy, I don't know. Anyway, I tried to find it, but it's in this mess somewhere. Oh, I found it. Here it is. It's okay. I found the missile. Anyway, we'll stick that back in there like that. Anyways, I was trying to show you. This, I do believe, should have in there, but I guess it doesn't. It does there, so you can store that there, so he can, like, actually launch up into the sky. Or you can take it off. And he can actually hold it. So you can plug that into his hand. Well, let's try that again. Okay, there it is. In the tail, this is actually, I guess he is actually supposed to have this, as, I guess you can use it as an axe if you choose to, because I guess he can hold this as well, at least according to the instructions. And the pictures, so if you can get it in there, I guess this is supposed to fit over his hand. Or just pop it on like because this is kind of a soft plastic here, so it is flexible. Oh well. Anyway, I have trouble getting it in that hand. It might go in his other hand a little bit easier. Let me try real quick. I don't know. Well, okay, I have trouble getting it in either one of his hands, but I don't know. You can work at it. I'll, I'll probably try some more, see if I can get it in there in his hand, but it's not going too well for me, but anyway. This is the weapon I would prefer to use, you know, to launch the missiles. As he's got, you have to kind of adjust his legs and his feet to where he'll stand properly. But he does have good balance with these big beast feet. So, that is actually a plus. But like I said, overall, he's a really, really cool figure. The new. Predacon Laserback. As you see, nice head sculpt there. Looks really, really cool. So if you're into the Beast Hunters, you're into Transformers Prime, I highly recommend you pick this figure up. Along with the new Predaking when he does show up in the stores. You see it, pick it up. Awesome figure. Real, really cool. Add him to your collection. He's going to fight for the Decepticons. There he is with his laser back. Here's his axe slash tail. Like I said, a really cool figure. Really awesome. Love the colors. Just fantastic. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Pick this guy up if you see him in the store. And I'm going to be back with some more reviews because I've got a lot of work to do. A lot more reviews coming your way. So we'll see you soon. Have a good one.